Hello world. Here we are today, April 28th, 2016, at the mirror. Apocalypse on the way? Scientists fear asteroids, killer robots, and deadly diseases could wipe out humanity. Experts issue terrifying warning about the threats facing our species and warn that governments simply aren't prepared to combat them. The rise of robots and deadly viruses are among the threats that could wipe out swaths of humanity, but governments are failing to prepare properly for them, a new report warned. So we could go on and talk about all this because the super volcanoes, the asteroids. <laughs> it's not funny, but you know, I mean, the world we're living in at this point, come on, who doesn't feel like they're living in an alternate universe? I'm focusing on the deadly diseases here. The first one is here, Elizabeth Kingia. And this bacteria strain offers a curious mix of hope and danger. Isn't that lovely? Back in 1948, Milton Burrow had a TV show where he'd greet the audience with good evening, ladies and germs. Technically, 60% of Burrow's audience was germs because it's now clear that a person consists of approximately 30 trillion cells of us and 40 trillion cells of them. Anyways, Elizabeth Kingia, which has mysteriously sickened 61 people, mostly in Wisconsin since last fall, all were already ill. 20 people have died, which is a very high rate. Um, Elizabeth Kingia is found in dirt, in mosquito guts, and pretty much everywhere else. So there's one, and you can these will all be linked. That's an interesting one, right? And here's another one. New case of Elizabeth Kingia being investigated at Children's Hospital. This is April 28, 2016. So it's out there. We have Lyme disease as a ticking time bomb. Lyme disease is known to wreck lives and strike when people least expect it. Transmitted from ticks, it can take years to diagnose. Isn't that a lovely little creature? A ticking tom time bomb. On any ranked list of nasty diseases transmitted by mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas in the Western world, Borrelia burgdorferi, okay, sorry there, would have to lie near the top. These bacteria cause Lyme disease, which was first recognized in the 1970s, although it goes back to the, uh, the Tyrolean Iceman. He had Lyme disease, so it's been around for a long time. Then we go here. Who issues yellow fever warning as deadly outbreak grows? This was April 26. Moving over here, 30 U.S. states at risk as Zika virus spreads through Puerto Rico, feds warn. Here we have brain damage in Zika babies is far worse than doctors expected. So again, in the end, God is going to trump man. And the best you can do is be prepared. You know, mosquito season's coming, so best thing to do is be prepared, get rid of standing water, even little bottle caps they can breed in. So be aware, be prepared, and, you know, be right with who you are, because in the end, that's all that matters. There's some videos following this um, about mosquitoes and Zika, so enjoy. A virus unheard of 70 years ago is exploding around the planet creating what the World Health Organization calls a global health emergency. Common symptoms include fever, rash, headaches, and red eyes, if there are any symptoms at all. Four out of five people who get Zika don't even know it. Zika is spread primarily by the female Aedes aegypti mosquito. She's called the roach of the mosquito world due to her crafty ways of hiding and breeding inside homes, making her hard to find and eliminate. Zika's also been linked to Guillain-Barre, a rare autoimmune disorder that can lead to paralysis. But what makes Zika really scary is an alarming connection between the virus and microcephaly. That's a neurological disorder where babies are born with small heads and small brains, with severe developmental issues, even death. Some countries are so concerned they are warning women not to get pregnant. While in the United States, CDC officials are telling pregnant women not to travel to any of the countries where Zika is circulating. Because it is possible Zika can hide in semen and be transmitted by sex, the CDC is asking men exposed to Zika to use condoms to protect unborn fetuses. Scientists are working around the clock to attack the virus, but as of yet, there's no vaccine or medicine to treat Zika. So protect yourself by using and reapplying insect repellent, wearing thick, long sleeve shirts and pants, and staying inside in screened, air-conditioned rooms and areas where Zika is active. And be sure to remove any standing water where mosquitoes can breed.